Well, we are turning now. It is the first full week of Black History Month, and locally, there's still plenty of events to get to this February. One of those is happening this weekend with Black History Month event in the Village. This is on Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. at TNBC at the Lincoln Center over in Davenport. It'll be an afternoon filled with celebration, education, and of course, lots of black history. Here to talk about this is the Lincoln Center's Executive Director, Tracy Singleton. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. No problem, thank for you. For those who didn't see last week, talk about what's happening at this event. So TNBC is hosting our third annual Black History Month in the Village. This is something that is open to the entire community. We strongly believe that engagement plus education equals understanding. So we have all kinds of black history going on, but in a fun way and in an interactive way. And so that you can walk away having fun, but having learned something as well. You guys have got a film festival. You got book giveaways, what else is going on? Make it, take it activities, um, interactive invention stations. And we also have a group of leaders in our community that are sharing how they grew up wanting to be what they are now and how they can encourage kids to do the same. I just think of this as a great opportunity for people of all ages. Oh yeah, for sure. The perfect Saturday event. Uh -huh, exactly. But you guys have another perfect Saturday event coming up. You got yes. the Black Business Expo on the 24th. Yes. How many vendors are going to be there this year? Um, we did early bird registration and just at that alone, we had 25 sign up. Wow. Um, we typically get between 50 and 60 vendors at the event. Um, so we are definitely looking forward to that. This is our ninth year. Um, so people are aware of it and they look forward to it. They put it on their schedule. If they haven't heard from me, they're reaching out to me asking me like, hey, when is registration? When is the expo? So we are definitely looking forward to one of our bigger ones. Yeah, talk about that. How have you seen this grow the last nine years? Oh, gosh, the first year we had like 10 vendors and maybe 100 <laughs> people. But I was so excited because I didn't even realize. I'm like, oh, we have 10 Black-owned businesses here in the Quad Cities. Um, a lot of people don't have brick and mortar. They're providing a service or they're working from home, home base. Um, so to have 50, 60 each year and each year seeing the same people, which means they're staying in business. And the Expo is a good opportunity for them to be exposed to the community. We get intentional traffic at South Park Mall. These are people who are coming specifically for the expo. But at the same time, you'll have people who are just at the mall. And they're like, oh, hey, what's going on over there? And before you know it, they have a new favorite business and the business has a new customer. And you know, I've gone over the last few years and it really, feels like a celebration. It is. Yeah. I mean, we have music going. The energy is just <laughs> so great the there. We have music going. We have entertainment. A lot of networking happens between the businesses, which is what I like to see. Um, so one business figures out how they could partner with another business and do something together. Um, but at the same time, for them to be sold out, to not have, that is the, probably the best feeling at all. Wow. Wow. And for people that want to be more intentional about shopping at locally owned, black owned businesses, mm -hmm. what kind of resources are out there for them to find those names? Well, I always say come to the expo because you're going to get lots of business cards and you're going to get a chance firsthand to experience what they offer as a business. But we have our restaurants and there is an effort um, to put together a directory that should be available by the summertime that is a comprehensive listing of all black owned businesses in the Quad Cities. That is so cool. We're looking forward to that. Yes. Tracy, thanks for stopping by again. No, thank you for having us. For you guys at home, once again, Black History Month event at the Lincoln Center is happening this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. And then the annual Black Business Expo will be Saturday, February 24th. We have more information on both of those events on our website, wqad.com. Just click on the As Seen on TV tab.